because there's nothing more beautiful than the way the ocean refuses to stop kissing the shoreline, no matter how many times it's sent away. Sarah K. Everybody. Um, I know it's been a while since you've seen a video from us because we've been busy trying to get back on the boat and doing some boat projects. We've got some great stories to tell there. And we finally made it into Key West right for all the winds. So I have a new um, dead cat for my phone to hopefully um, help our wind issues in a lot of our videos. So I'm testing it right now. So if you see this, that means it worked. Um, and But that's where we've been trying to get into Key West. And so I'm getting ready to obviously put out my last almost last video of Long Island, which seems to be going on and on. Um, it was a great time. And um, I just wanted to let everybody know that um, that's why it's been a while and we are in Key West. We are headed into Clarence Town, Long Island, which is the southernmost point we traveled on the island. This is the biggest village on the island as well. We just wanted to give everyone an idea of how rural and rugged the outer islands are. Life is simple. We headed first to the Flying Fish Marina to find out about coming in for fuel as we heard their fuel docks were still open to cruisers. But before we could, all the docks closed on Long Island. The guy at Flying Fish was pretty upset about the entire COVID rules for fuel, so I'm sure when he was forced to close, he didn't get any better. But we did enjoy the views from the marina of the harbor, the town, and the nurse sharks cruising the waters. Clarence Town is home to two churches designed by John Halls with twin towers. John Halls was an architect and priest who was known for designing and constructing church buildings in England, Western Australia, and the Bahamas. The first church we visited was St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church on the hill with the stunning views. Standing on the steps of St. Peter's, St. Paul's Catholic Church. It might be St. Paul St. Peter's, but it's a beautiful view of Clarence Town. Out there is the Flying Fish Marina. We're going to try to get some fuel there in a couple days. So we'll be back. Straight ahead is the government docks. It's beautiful here. Beautiful view from over here. Church, of course, is closed because of the COVID-19 outbreak, and or the Bahamas closed their churches. So you're supposed to be able to climb the old spirals. This church is 18-something, and um, get a really spectacular 360 view. But we get about a 180 here. It's pretty cool. We stopped and grabbed a photo of the twin St. Paul's Anglican Church as we were leaving Clarence Town and headed to Dean's Blue Hole. So we're going out to Dean's Blue Hole. We've been exploring Long Island today. Thought we'd take this chance to um, ask Dee how driving has gone this time <laughs> um, after already having one experience. I think I've done much better. I've only turned on the windshield wipers twice, I think, trying to make turn turn on the turn signal, so that's an improvement. Okay. Feels like a little bit better day of this driving on the right side of the car on the left side of the road. Dean's Blue Hole is stunning when you walk out onto the beach and see this deep blue hole, which is said to be the second deepest in the world, with a depth of 633 feet. The structure that we kept trying to figure out is for divers. Finally, this memorial is, is called Three Angels Memorial for three people who died one day in the Blue Hole. Apparently, many have died here, and the locals do not swim in the hole. They believe there's a strong riptide that pulls you under. Glad we didn't know this, so come on, dive in with us. You know what that is right there?
spot where, right where the anchor is. Uh huh. Put the slender rope out, out. Out, and then it kind of goes over the edge and it's, it's like, it's like that Okay. It's funny the things you crave while you're traveling. We just got our pizza fixed, but now it was ice cream. So we decided to stop at a little grocery store and splurge. Since restaurants were closed, we'd pack sandwiches for lunch and not really spent any money today. So ice cream it was. We drove out a little dirt road and ended at this small dock with a great view. While we enjoyed ice cream and spied another church. We stopped to get a picture of the church and one more for the collage. Catch a glimpse of the mall at the end of the video. Our final stop for the day was in the Bowers Pendle Settlement area. We drove out to a beach. I feel like we were looking for something or someone told us about it, but I cannot remember why. And yes, I know I need to write this stuff down sooner. This is one of my favorite spots. One day the picture with the boat will be hanging on the wall as one of those special places we got to visit and discover. Stunning.